Hi and welcome back. This is White Armor Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to protect your privacy using a new browser called Brave. This browser is based on protecting your privacy and in my opinion it does it extremely well. In this tutorial we will download and install Brave and go through the many features it has to offer. Let's begin. So first open up your favorite browser and in the address bar type in Brave and you're going to look for the lion logo and look for httpsbrave.com and go to this website. From here, we're going to discuss what the browser has to offer and then we're going to download it. So you might be wondering, what does this browser have to offer that makes it so secure and private? Well, this browser has four features that are is natively built into the browser which achieves the security and privacy that you would normally get if by downloading third-party extensions on all your other browsers like Firefox or Chrome. So what it has built into the browser is an ad and tracker blocker. It has HTTPS everywhere. It has a fingerprint blocker. And what that means is that while you're surfing the web, if you have the fingerprint blocker enabled, they can't tell what OS you're using or the device you're coming from. And the browser also has included a script blocker, just like Umatrix or NoScript, on a very basic uh, level. I'll show you how to use it a little bit later in the video. So when they claim that the browser can surf up to eight times faster, what that means is because they've incorporated these features into the browser itself and you don't have to download third-party extensions, they are able to process much faster than the other browsers. Uh, when they claim that they can save money, that's because when downloading this browser on an Android or iOS device, instead of using your data towards the web ads that you don't want to see, it blocks them immediately, saving you money. It has a nice interface that shows you the ads that are blocked, the trackers that are blocked, and even the HTTPS upgrades that it achieves when you go to an HTTPS, or sorry, an HTTP site by accident. And it'll even show you a nice little uh, counter on how many minutes it saved you. Now it does incorporate a fifth feature which allows you to tip creators that have verified with Brave. It's a cryptocurrency called Basic Attention Tokens or BAT. You can buy these tokens or I believe in the later releases, they haven't come out with it just yet, you'll be able to enable web ads or, or they're called Brave ads on your favorite content creators and you will earn these tokens and then it'll allow you to tip your creators with those tokens. For now, you can just purchase it and then tip them. So now let's download the browser and I'm going to show you how it works and then we'll do a, a quick configuration just so that you can make sure that everything is configured to the most secure and the most private um, that you should have your browser set to because not everything is perfect um, but let's go through everything so click download brave and as you can see it's available for windows 64-bit windows 32-bit mac os and linux it's also available on android ios and i believe windows phones but i didn't see it anywhere in the listing oh no so it's just android and ios so once you know which version you need to download, just go ahead and click the download button and save it in your favorite downloads location. After it downloads, go ahead and double click the exe and you can oh, put in your password for your admin account. And you can go ahead and close the browser you use to download the software. Uh, because going forward, we're going to use Brave. I will also do a comparison to show you what Brave looks like when you're using Firefox and when you're using Chrome and also then when you're using Brave. So when you first load Brave, this is what it's gonna look like. Um, I've used it already for a little while and um, so when you first install it, you're gonna get another window that's going to be the import bookmarks window. Um, you can go ahead and import your bookmarks if you like and then it has a little introductory that you can just keep hitting next until you get to the end and then you will see this window. You go ahead and close the installation and then I'm going to show you how it all works. So when you first actually download Brave and you're all set up and you're looking at this window, you're pretty much ready to go. You can surf using Brave immediately. It's going to start blocking web ads, trackers. Uh, by default, it will block uh, third-party uh, um, 
companies from fingerprinting you. Um, the scripts portion will be disabled because that's a little bit finicky. I will show you how to use it a little bit later. Um, but this window here, I'm just going to show you a quick overview. So self-explanatory, how many trackers are blocked, how many ads are blocked, how many times it's upgraded your HTTP sites to HTTPS. Now, if the site doesn't have HTTPS enabled, um, then this will not happen. It will just keep using HTTP. And then how many seconds it saved you from not loading web ads. And then at the bottom, you'll have the settings, the bookmarks, and the browsing history. At the top here, this bar where you see other bookmarks, this is where you can show bookmarks. Um, so as you start adding websites, this these icons will start you'll notice more will appear you can pin them to save them to this window you can save it to your bookmarks and then you can also remove them completely if you pin it you can't remove it just a little tip um, so let's go to our first site I'm just gonna go to Yahoo Finance and from here I'm just gonna show you immediately it's gonna start working for me so if I go up to the brave icon um, this should be on. I turned it off by accident, but basically when I go to Yahoo Finance, I'm going to notice icon the icon with a number beside it start growing. That's telling me that all the ads are being blocked and the trackers are being blocked immediately. If I want to enable this entire page, only this page, I can just turn it off. And that means everything will load as normal without being, uh, pr I won't be protected anymore. My advice is don't do that. Leave it on. These are the connections that are encrypted to this site. Um, it, it's already under HTTPS, so it doesn't need to force it. And then here's these three options, which I was talking about, which is called, um, you can block third-party cookies. You can block all cookies, which I don't advise. If you block all cookies, some web pages don't load at all and don't allow all cookies. Leave it as third-party. The scripts, right now it's allow all scripts by default. I will show you a little bit later how, when you set this to blocked, how to use it. My advice is to leave it as all scripts allowed um, unless you want to have very granular control over your web browsing. It can be very annoying turning this on. And then this is the fingerprint um, blocking. So my advice is to do device recognition blocked completely. Now if you notice websites not working all of a sudden because of this, um, then change it to third party device recognition blocked. So this is when you change anything from this icon, this means that you're only changing it for this specific site. It will not tr um, transfer over to, if I go to CNN, I will not see those changes on CNN. So it will only apply to the individual website. If you want to change it globally so that everything has the same settings, my advice is to don't touch this icon unless you want to take a look at the trackers. Um, leave it as is and what you do is you want to go over to the top right corner now this is a chromium open source so it's going to be exactly like chrome you go to the settings and then this is where we're going to configure a few things so this is by default you're going to look for brave shields defaults now this is the same settings you would see up at the icon you want to make sure ads are blocked block third-party cookies and then here's where if you notice websites breaking all the time, maybe you might want to change this from block all fingerprinting to block third party fingerprinting. My advice is first leave it as block all fingerprinting, test it out and then go from there. Make sure HTTPS everywhere is always enabled. And then this is where you can enable by default script blocking. If you want to have it enabled by default, then everywhere you surf scripts basically JavaScript will be blocked and you will have to allow individual scripts to load to make the web page load properly. But this can definitely protect you. Um, down below, there are a few other um, settings that I recommend going through my Chrome browser lockdown video and turning, uh, basically figuring out what options you want to turn on or off because there's a lot in here that I would say turn off especially autofill. If you want your privacy, don't have passwords autofill, don't have them saved, don't have payments saved, and also don't have your addresses saved as well. Turn those off. If I go back 
I'm going to show you what the no script um, option, what will happen. So if I say block scripts for this web page, you're going to notice nine scripts are blocked. And now the page kind of loads. When I go back up to the lion, what I want to do, if I want to allow those scripts, I have to allow individual websites. So I have to say undo the this one. I have to say undo that and then apply. Now it's going to allow this uh, those scripts to load. And this web page is still broken because other scripts are going to start loading now. You got to go back into this. Actually, you'll have to refresh still so that Brave can detect it. And even then you still see scripts are broken. It can be very finicky if it doesn't detect things properly. So that's why I say and my advice is just allow them globally until they uh, fix this interface to make it a bit better. And uh, and that's pretty much it. You can surf around your favorite sites. If you go to channels that are Brave enabled, uh, like my own, what I've done is I've verified with them. And now when you go here, if you actually if you actually look at the icon, you'll see that I still there's still trackers off of YouTube. Um, my page still loads. But the difference is if you are into the Brave Rewards and you want to tip a creator, you just click this triangle and you're going to notice this window and you can send a tip. But the only way you can do this is if they're Brave Verified Publisher, if, if I've actually verified my channel with Brave. If they've done this, then you can send a tip. You might be redirected to the uh, their website where you can actually so I can say 10, but I don't have enough tokens because I haven't purchased any. But later on down the road, they're going to actually give you uh, a way. Let me see where it is. So you can add funds through these means. I think you can even add through credit card. I don't really worry about this too much because they need they still need to work it out. But if you go there, so the triangle and go to reward settings, now you can see. So this ads where you can watch Brave ads is coming soon. Then you'll turn this on, you'll watch ads, you'll get paid for free. Or you can add funds. You can then auto contribute those funds to your favorite um, uh, content creators. You don't have to do anything at that point. And then it gives you a little um, chart of who you've been tipping. I don't really worry about the bat tipping right now because they still need to work it out. Uh, I, I mainly just love this browser because I can download it and use it immediately. You don't even have to go through these settings if you don't want to, um, to have it immediately start protecting you. Like it has social buttons and logins. These are the social buttons like Facebook, Twitter that you can log in from. You can have it so that they don't even show up on the web page for you anymore because you want to use your actual username and passwords. Um, if you want to use extensions with this browser, they're still available like LastPass. You can still do it. You just have to go to the Chrome extension store. And when you go there, you will see a list of extensions. You can click them just like normal, like it was as if it was Chrome and then you can add it. Uh, I believe they also have a location for extensions, if I see here. Uh, I don't actually see it in their settings, so they must have moved it. Oh, there you go, extensions. And then you'll basically see the extensions. So there you go, web store. You can go to the same location and download the extensions, your favorite extensions to Brave. And then eventually they probably might even incorporate them into the browser. And that's everything. Uh, there's not much more you need to know surf privately and securely. I'm going to give you a comparison now So I'm going to show you this is brave when I want to watch a YouTube video So normally let's I'm just gonna pick um, I have to pick one so let's just say let's just pick this As you can see there's not a single ad on this video if I open up Firefox and I go, not now, and I go to that exact same video. There we go. You are going to notice it. So, oh, there you go. So right at the end, you see that little yellow dot? That means an ad will load. And if I go back to Brave, there are no yellow dots. Not a single ad will load with this browser. This is what makes it so great.
That's why they incorporated BAT so that you can tip the content creators. Because basically when you're not loading web ads, they don't get paid anymore. It's uh, a bittersweet. And that's, yeah, that, that's, that's about everything. If you have any questions about this tutorial or it doesn't work for you, please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe for future security videos. Thanks and enjoy. Take care.